Okay, so I took it into the normal oil change. I said, you know, check this out. I'm smelling it a little bit. I don't know if it's a big deal. Okay, I just want to make sure before we drive 24 hours. So we start driving on the way down from Tennessee in a few hours. Um, so you're running like a foot off in clear too? Start smelling a little bit, no big deal. Then we get down to Orlando and the days had just started. Like we had to drive with our windows open. And first, so he told me, you're good to go, everything's good, no leaks, nothing. And uh, got down there, we pulled into the dealership, and six out of the eight, I know nothing about cars, but cylinders in the engine were leaking gas, so it was just full, slowly filling up. Nice. The guy down there is like, with all due respect, sir, you were just driving a floating bomb. I mean, if one cigarette got thrown out of it, your car would have exploded type of thing. So I was going back and forth with GM and, and the lawyers calling me, and it was a nightmare. Yeah, I Because they wanted me to take back the car, and I'm like, I'm not driving that car. Oh, we fixed it. I'm like, that's fine. Give me a new car. Throw it on a semi. Not happening. Pull it back up, and then we can talk about getting a new one. <laughs> First one was a dump truck, didn't shut all this door, so I had to go ahead and get new headlights, grill, windshield. Well, supposedly they had the windshield in stock. It took them eight weeks. I wanted to be on the back side. Well, I thought it was coming through there. I know. So they didn't have the windshield, but they said they did. Their detail guy tried to hide it by gluing plastic back on and doing paintless dent repair. If you turn it now, it's not going to be in here. It's going to be up past it. This is the second line. Yeah, yeah, I want to see if it's coming back okay. in. And it, I will get Bergs from there. The only credit that I'll give them is they paid for our flight so long. They paid for it. I mean, yeah. they, they took oh, care of us. Way. But God, was I pissed when that guy from GM called me and wanted me to take that car back. I'm like, I just drove my family in a floating bomb. By your description, your mechanics, I said, I'm not going to put my wife back in that car. There's no chance. Was there a sticker on the inside of the plate? <laughs> I don't know, I saw something on the side, and maybe it's just a molding mark or something. There's a nice round little spot there. That looks like a sticker. Yeah, just a casting mark. Oh, that's the, okay, yeah, it's a molding that's the molding mark. That's the Yeah, I've seen that on the sides or whatever. I forget how much the camera magnifies stuff, too. That little, that little dot, like on those, on the inside where it's injected, when they make the plastic, will all of a sudden look like that, because the camera's in there with the, oh, yeah. the way it magnifies no, that side of the house. Makes it look By the huge. kitchen area back there, is there any bathrooms over there? No. Okay. Just trying to figure out what we, is there bathrooms on that side of the house? Yep. The, the master's over there upstairs. Okay. Is that above the other bathroom? Yes. This is garage floor green. There's stuff. Piping running that way that's going to come down this. Could you go hit your no, toilet here? I'm guessing. Master? Is it going to come out of that hole? Well, so I got a rag ready. <laughs> Most right. likely by the look of it. I think everything above grade is running right here. Is it like a... Yes. Yeah. I don't think there's a stack on the other side for wine. Maybe there is. Yeah, look that sink. I mean, I can, no, hang on. You, you can see that water from that sink coming up here. It is starting to? Yeah. You, you can see it. Kind of right there. I'm going to let the sink fill up some of the night for that toilet drain. Hold on, we'll take a little faster, right? Yep, yeah, go ahead. It came out here, which is always part of the problem, but it is what it is. Right now he's filling up the bar sink. I'm going to do a flush and see if we can see it come back this direction. Before you dump it, Nick, let me know. There's still a little bit of...
Finally stopped running by. Nope, still a little. Yeah. yeah. Back to Bershams. They, they took off the fancy mirror, which honestly is pointless because there's a bulkhead in the one band. But they put in the new windshield. I went to adjust the mirror, fell off. It's going back in for the third time because. They always put it on. You go to do this with it to move it, it falls off. But it's. Yeah. Sometimes you need to see how good you're looking that day. You need to see what where the shit you got over your face. Yeah. Right. But uh, try. It. It, the, the record so far is an hour and a half because according to Bershon, there's nothing wrong with it. The dash and everything changes from English to German. You can go in and select English, but everything's still in German. Yes. So I have to sit on the phone for hour, hour and a half, oh, until they access it while I'm driving. Oh wow, that's uh, quite interesting. I'm guessing it blasted right up. Huh? I'm guessing it blasted right Yes, it did. Yeah, because that's only a really slow aerator. You're getting like a gallon a minute on it. I'm pulling back at least. Three feet. I mean, it went. Oh, I kind of figured. Your laundry is this part of the home or that part of the home? Laundry is. <laughs> uh, laundry is like right near, near the, the master. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Laundry right here. That would be the half bath. No. Yeah, the laundry is on the back yeah. side of it. I'm getting. Yeah. Okay. So toilets there. I'm guessing the one sink is vent and then the other one is going to be laundry. Laundry is back there, farther. Back there? Yeah, I'll show you. You want to see? Where it's. Because it's. There's a decent amount. This coronavirus, they said. Uh, uh, two inches of that line, an inch and a half of the sink line. They said, I'm on day three without sports. I met a nice lady sitting on my couch. Apparently, she's my wife. Yeah, I she's, saw the she, same seems, one. she seems nice. I saw the same one. Here's about a, a third sink, Nick. Okay. I guess now I'm going straight up there as long So what are you checking right now that it comes out the other Seeing how much water actually comes, comes out this the line. Wrong line in the wrong direction that it shouldn't come up at all. Yeah, that just helps us show that there's a pitch water. issue. And that's <laughs> that's a few feet up there. Considering it's only three to four gallons dumping. Yeah. I mean it's not much bigger than it's still sitting there. The toilet. But it drains back out but very full. Yeah. Well, that Y also sits there full for how long? Mm -hmm. yeah, once I saw where it's actually tying in, that two inch, it's tying in right on the toilet flange. It's venting for your toilet there. All right. Go fill her up one more time, Nicholas. <laughs> my son had lost my wife's wedding ring. Uh, to this day, we're really not sure where it went. Uh, the theory is it's either somewhere in the backyard where he flushed it, but this is years and years ago. Of course, get my wife another one. It's a big standing joke at our house, because you'd be surprised if all wedding rings, getting down dentures, you, you name it. But uh, again, my wife has a sense of humor. Says, yeah, most guys, when they get a new ring, they get a new wife, not me. 
Thank God you got sent me here. Yeah, I'll do it. This is seventeen one going back exactly one foot give or take. And I, I, I can say it is possible. I've seen it where guys that are doing the concrete, they pour all the concrete and they got to strike it out. They might have stepped on the pipe, pitched it backwards. I, I've seen some strange stuff over the years. Do you usually see people will come in and fix this kind of thing? I'm usually never on the backside. Yeah. Most plumbers don't have cameras. A select few do. But for as very rare as they would see it, it's, it's a pretty big investment. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some that have old rickety beat up ones that, you know, you can see if they the pipes have been pierced. smaller pierce. one that I think you're using yeah. before. Yeah. I mean, so far out of what I've seen, I would say the dips out in the front are more prone to causing the issues. Right. But. Again, I'm not a plumber. That'll be up to them to decide. How full are you, Nick? Two-thirds. That's plenty. This is the bar sink, basement, two-thirds full, a foot back from the Y. Any, any toilet paper that has not flushed out from your bathrooms here or downstairs are all coming over through this line, not the front one. If there's any sitting here, the water from the sink, the kitchen sink that comes down can push it back up. Granted, I'm assuming you don't use your kitchen sink a lot. It's more dishwasher. Right. Okay. Advantage is the line is on this line to flush it through, so every time you do wonder, you should flush it out. Sometimes we haven't have ran any water. Or two problems kind of work together to cause the issue. And there's. <laughs> That's from the one flush I did. But this is before we had the camera in here. That he said there was paper in the upstairs master when he flushed it. Yeah. And you had the cable in there already. Right? Because that ball that you did downstairs came up. There was I the, watched it chase okay. me. Okay. The one yeah. uh, upstairs was very small because I think my wife just blew her nose and threw it in there. Yeah, right. that's probably what that right. is, just a small amount of paper in there. Sometimes we've seen where how there's where this one joins that one or both spots. Sometimes it kind of collects into a ball there, and then when it tries to go through that front section, it plugs. So sometimes two of them will work together to create a problem that neither one is caused by themselves. If it slugs out because of the back full preventer too, can cause it to be harder to get through that belly out there. So sometimes it's not one issue; it's a combination of all of them adding up to a problem. Right. Backfill preventers, just the way they are, it has to push it open. It kind of creates a ball behind it before it decides to go. And if that ball goes out and gets stuck, or hits another ball, then. Could you show him your all your bathrooms upstairs? Yeah. Check, make sure all the everything's all full where it needs to be, the, as far as toilet levels go.
again, this is some waste that was in the line, some paper, bar sink just dumped. This is the difference between a four inch and a three inch. See the line on the side? Yep. That's just showing me how high the normal water level is when it's carrying stuff, like a flush. A lot of waste, a lot of paper, it gets up and then it goes down. When you get a big slug in a three inch, it just kind of rolls and rolls or if it stops. A four inch, it allows it to stay a little bit lower in the pipe and break up more. But the Excessive for underground, but that's how I like to see why it's pitched. It's a little excessive for underground, but when you're up at an angle like that, you know you get good pitch and the stuff doesn't backflow up the line wrong, unless that pipe's almost full. Yeah, it's out how often we see the woods on their side underground, which they're not allowed to be on their side because the way 